Hey, it's Thursday, April 6th. We're going to be reading today in 2 Timothy chapter 2, verses 1 through 2. It says, You then, my son, be strong in the grace that is in Christ Jesus. So this is Paul exhorting Timothy. This is Paul almost commanding to Timothy. You then, my son, be strong in the grace that is in Christ Jesus. And that word right there, be strong, is the word endunamao, and it means receive strength, or increase in strength, or to be strengthened. So it's almost more like Paul is prophesying to Timothy, or commanding, or declaring over Timothy, be strong right now in Jesus' name. Be strengthened, increase in strength. Timothy, because remember that Paul knows, he knows the hardship that he himself is facing in those current circumstances that he's about to be executed. And he knows that the times of persecution are only increasing. So he can imagine what is ahead for Timothy. And I'm sure Timothy <laughs> probably knew that too. Here his, his father in the faith is facing execution. He's in jail, being persecuted for the very thing that Timothy is called to do. So imagine, you know, we hear all these exhortations from Paul, like, be strong, don't be timid. <laughs> um, you know, there's power, love, and sound mind in you, and don't let others look down on you because you're young. He's gotta build Timothy up in the faith because he knows what's ahead for Timothy. He knows it's not gonna be easy. He knows he will have to have perseverance and endurance in order to get through because Paul knows the perseverance and endurance that he's had to muster up. So he's telling Timothy, be strong, increase in strength. You know, he's not sitting with Timothy saying, oh, this is going to be so hard and you have no idea what's ahead. He's not putting fear into him and he's not moping with him like, I'm so sorry that your life is going to be so hard and this calling is going to be more than you can bear. He's not, he's saying, okay, yeah, I know what's ahead, you know what's ahead, there's persecution ahead, it's gonna be hard, be strong, increase in strength. You know, he knew that in order for Timothy to be able to endure and persevere and get through, that he would need those words of the almost commanding tone of be strong in the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ. You know, if if we could only use the word of God more to build one another up in the faith, to encourage one another in the ways in which we're called in Christ and in and, and the ways in which we need to persevere in who we are, you know, to be told this is who you are in Christ and this is what he's calling you to do. So be strengthened, be encouraged. You can do it. Keep going, keep pressing on. We need to use the word of God also to build one another up in our faith so that we don't get weary, so that we don't get tired and stop enduring because it's not easy for us either. We need to have those around us that are gonna use the word of God, not as a weapon to tear us down, but to use the word of God to build us up in our faith, to strengthen us, to encourage us, and those that are gonna be strong enough to tell us, yeah, it's gonna be hard, be strong. Get, get yourself strengthened in the Lord. Get in your word. Pray yourself up because the days ahead are not going to be easy. And so that's what Paul is doing here. Be strong in the grace that is in Christ Jesus. You know, grace is the unmerited favor of God, the kindness of God that we do not deserve. There's nothing we can do to earn the grace of God, but we can receive the grace of God. We can thank him continually all throughout our days for his goodness, for his grace, that we don't deserve it, but he's so good. His grace covers over us and his grace goes before us. You know, he'll give us a measure of grace, just like here with Timothy. God knew what was ahead for Timothy. He knew the grace that he was gonna need to persevere, to endure, to lead that church in Ephesus. And so God's grace is gonna cover Timothy. It was gonna blanket him like a spiritual covering, just like God's grace covers you and I for whatever it is that we have ahead. We need the goodness of grace of God and we need God's word speaking truth into our lives. And even if it's a hard truth, like be strong, you know, it's probably not what Timothy was feeling at the moment. He didn't want somebody to just tell him, okay, be strong. This is 
gonna be hard, but be strong. But he needed to hear that, otherwise he wouldn't have been able to endure all that was ahead. So let's be those that speak the word of God to one another, that encourage each other in the word of God and build one another up in our faith with the word. We have to soak in the word of God in order to be able to pour out the word of God. The more that we memorize God's word and internalize God's word, the more we're gonna be able to pour it out and build the body of Christ up. So let's pray for that. Jesus, we thank you for your grace, that we don't do anything to deserve your grace, but we just come right now boldly to your throne of grace to obtain mercy in our time of need. God, that we would just sit at your feet and receive your goodness, receive your grace, and receive your mercy for this day, for all that we have ahead in our day, anything difficult or challenging, um, anything that we need to persevere through, God, we receive your grace right now for it. And we just declare to you, God, that we will stand firm in you. We will be strong in you. We will continue to persevere and continue to endure. Holy Spirit, would you use your word to encourage us and build us up just like Paul was building Timothy up. We can sit in your word and get strengthened through the power of your word. So we thank you for that today. In Jesus' name. Amen.